from sculpture and installation art to origami and animation, the democracy campaign has unleashed a wave of creative protest. Art has helped the movement evolve far beyond its goal of occupation, says Samson Wong, co-founder of the Umbrella Movement Visual Archives and Research Collective. All of a sudden it becomes not just a political movement, it's also a movement of reflecting on our everyday life, reflecting on our own capacity to create, to, to form a community. At the heart of the protest, activists wait to have their likeness drawn in caricature by Willa Yip, who has completed 300 such portraits. The little slogan here, yeah, this remark to support Hong Kong, but we uh, kind of record the memory. Yeah. After, after people grow old or children go up, they saw the portrait again, they will remind them that they have been this, been this yeah, remarkable movement. Walking past Yip's lamp-lit workstation is Zhu Feng Shuo, a leader of the 1989 Tiananmen Square student uprising. Zhu recalls, during the June 4th massacre, the iconic sculpture of the goddess of democracy and other works of protest art were targeted by the Chinese army. You see here there is a umbrella man, you know, it's very similar. You know, people created things that represent the ideal. The tank can destroy the one of it, but it can, cannot destroy the, the idea the, that's spreading uh, and uh, that's here today. Wong agrees there are lessons to be learned from Tiananmen. His group has already begun archiving the works on display so they are not lost to future generations. This collective body of work would be, I, 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 I presume or I predict, be very important as part of a um, heritage of Hong Kong. But it may not be, um, may not be properly or or, or properly documented by the official institutions such as our museums or um, our art galleries. Despite the festive spirit of the Umbrella Movement, the day will inevitably come when the police attempt to retake the occupied streets. To preserve their legacy, teams of activists are on standby to rush in and save as many works as possible. Ivan Broadhead for VOA News. Hong Kong.